Hey guys, welcome back to this new tutorial on PHP. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you on how to automatically add the corporate here on your website or web based system. Uh, this one here, it will take it will always take the corporate of your system uh, basing on the server uh, of your system. Now, if this log server of your system, the time is not uh, set well, obviously it will give you the wrong information because it will be picking the information or picking the time, date, and time right from the, I mean the date, right from the server of your uh, machine. So if you trust at the moment, this is the the yeah, that's actually I happen to uh, to make this tutorial. And if maybe I try to take it back or uh, take it be behind. Uh, maybe I change the year 2017 like that. If I say yes, it will change here. If I just happen to refresh this page, it will give you automatically as uh, 2017. If I go back, maybe I forward it, it will still do the same. We just actually uh, change for us the, uh, the program. So if I just make it be that, and I just say maybe okay. Uh, you'll find that the, the system actually the, it will just change it to the year in which maybe uh, the, it will be the current year to that maybe to that year or to be the current year. So that's how it is. Let us see how can we uh, go straight to the coding and we make one like that. So I'm just going to take you straight to the how to make one. So allow me make with you one uh, like that. So, these are my pieces of code that I made. So, let me just create one with you. So, I'm just going to create one and I'll, I'll just I'm just giving the, uh, the syntax for HTML. Let me just try to add it very fast. Uh, the title or title. Okay. Let's close the title. We'll complete that at once. And just come down here. I'll give the body of the program. So let me just go and save this. I'm just going to save it as index with double x since I already have one there. And then an extension is the test in the PSP. And then this to be all types. So I just save this. So I'm just going to copy this. Okay. And then here I'll need to add what known as H H2 or H2. Yes. So far now I can see the body set. Uh, let us just come down and see on how to add the footer, which is our main point at the moment. Let's give the footer. Uh, which footer maybe can I say we can give? Uh, let me give H2 also so that it can look a bit. And now here I'll also give the copyright now, which is hold shift with the 7 on your machine, then to give you that uh, kind of uh, logical arm. It's going to be copyright, then so just come in here and again. Then uh, we echo what are echo at the moment. We echo with the date, so we give it then. Then we close that. Sorry, it was there like that. Then you come in here now. Uh, we are going to be basing on the data and on which actually the, the, the candidate whenever or it will be actually it will be to basing on any current year of the wish or it will be any current year then the server is running so I'll make it in a capsule something like that 
and if I happen to save this program at the moment, uh, if I happen to save this program and I try to open up another one here, which is logical uh, xx but appears to be around these houses. Uh, I have sort of not yet added there those stuffs, but then if I add it now, I'm just going to create it here some CSS. So let me try to add here some style, uh, internal uh, CSS to that you can differentiate on my program. I'm just going to copy this so that I don't waste much time. I'll explain to you later on. Just copy that I give you here. Now, this one here is like means everything. If I told maybe I have a program in any language, then it's cool. So, this asterisk means uh, everything. So, I'm telling everything with the margin to be zero pixels and the palm to be zero pixels, and then the body background to be a kind of a gray like this a bit light gray or here we can use cc to be real gray then i'm giving h2 h2 at this case is uh this here then this i'll also give it h2 to be in the center so since it's already here the text box here to the center so i may just change this to be three so that i don't confuse you and maybe some of you will ask me a question later on let me just use that one directly so i'm still telling that text aligned to be sent that implies that by I would like this information to be in the center, which may be in our, our header, and then I also like the font size to be that uh, 27 pixels and the margin button to be this so that we can see, like, since I have less information there, uh, we can find that this is actually our footer. So, if I happen to run this, this is how to pop up for us. So, we shall see that actually how to add automatically the copyright here on your website on all web based system. So, at the moment, the current year is 2018. And if I happen to come here and I change the current year of the server of this machine, I happen to make it maybe 2017, uh, like that, any, and I just say okay, it will change automatically as long as I refresh the page. So, guys, that's how it is. And if maybe I go back to our maybe initial our, uh, the, the current year in which maybe my, uh, my machine has been, if I just come in here and I say press OK, I will find that the if I hold up to refresh, it will actually show me the uh, to show me the current year of the corporate on which the actually the the the, 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 the website or the system is running on. So guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe below to my channel. Don't forget to share my videos. Uh, like and comment there down below and let us actually find to see how we can help the rest of our friends there outside. So guys, thanks for watching. Hope we meet next time. Thank you.